Hello everyone, Dan Art HD here, back with another video, it's been a while, but, you know, forget that, we're starting off fresh. Um, so basically, I got a couple updates for you, again, two new questions inbound on this channel. Again, um, before I start, if you're new, welcome to Dan Art HD, and if you're old, thank you for supporting and, you know, watching the videos. Um, so... Two new questions. Um, one of one of the YouTubers. Um, I'm actually going to see if I can pronounce the name right. Um, one of the YouTubers, um, and this is going to be what the video is about right now. Um, Alex Games. I want to point that out. Shout out! Shout out to Alex Games. He comments, "Hello." What is the max canvas size you can make without lag or crash? The program he's actually referring to, or the program that you are referring to, Alex, is Sketchable. I presume because that's actually what you commented on one of my videos that shows the Sketchable program. So, that is a very good question. Very awesome, man. Uh, and uh, I'm going to get into that in this video right now. So... All right, let's get into it. And without further ado, here we go. All right, welcome back, everybody. All right, um, so I'm going to again. Um, let me recap. This is my Surface Pro Six. If you guys want me to do like you know a feature with uh, you know talking about my Surface Pro Six, I'll do that. But again, if you want to, if you want to see that, comment in the section below. Let's get into it. I'm going to bring up Sketchable. Okay, here we go. We got Sketchable up and running. So, the first thing, whoops, I remember that was from last time. That was from actually from a last video I did. Um, again, I will actually go to a new page. Let me go to a new page. Let me delete this page. I'm going to delete. All right, this is actually not mine. This actually came with the uh, came with the. Uh, this is actually a. This is actually a preview of what you can do with the uh, program. So, let me go to new page. This is not mine. Just a disclaimer, not mine. Okay, so here we go. So again, here is the canvas. Now, the cursor. What you're seeing right now is just you know just the cursor moving around. This is the canvas. This whole box right here. This is actually the canvas. What you can do with this canvas is since this is a touch screen. Basically, all I have to do is take two fingers, right? Take two fingers, and I can pinch and zoom out. Pinch and zoom out. Do all that stuff. Now, again, like, uh, like um, you know, Alex said in one of my videos, what is the max size you can go without lag or crash? That is a good question, again. So, in order to explain that, when you pinch... When you pinch in and out of the canvas, you will actually see up here. Now, if you can look right up here, you will actually see numbers there. You will actually see numbers. So, for example, if I pinch and zoom in and out, if I... Because this also has the ability to rotate, but for now, I'm just going to do pinch and zoom. If I do pinch and zoom, you can actually see those numbers decrease and increase. So as I make the canvas larger, it increases. Smaller, it decreases. So what is the max number, like what is the max size of the canvas? So basically, you can make the canvas, to explain it a little bit better, you can make the canvas any size you want. And again, this is the Surface Pen. I'm going to take the Surface Pen and I'm going to draw something real quick. So, again, here, we can actually draw something, like, really quick here. So, again, the canvas right now, this canvas size, just to fill the screen, is at 130%. This right here, this whole thing is 130%. Now, this is just filling only this area right now. What if we want to do, like, what if we want to do, for example, uh, let me just test the pen real quick. 
Okay, that's the pen feature. Okay, so basically, uh, let me put this down so it doesn't shake. Okay, so if we zoom in, we're gonna zoom in on this canvas again. Zoom in all the way until we can go to the max size. Max size. Watch this. We can still keep on going. It's at 600. It's over 600% right now. Oh, still going, still going. Over a over a thousand percent, over a thousand percent right now. 13, I mean, 1300, 1400, 1500. This is over 2000 percent right now. I can still go. I can still go. I can still go. So, honestly, completely honest, I actually never went this far into the canvas. Now, the reason the reason you're not seeing anything is because I haven't drawn anything yet. So, let me back up. I'm going to decrease the canvas size so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So, and to put it in retrospect, you can make the canvas, I don't know what the max percent is you can make it. I'm assuming you can make it, like, really, really high. So, again, I'm going to pinch and zoom and go to the largest percent I can do with this canvas. Okay. It looks like, okay, guess what, guess what, people? We reached the max size. So Alex, your question is what is the max size? Guess what? That max size is, my friend, 12,800%. You heard me correctly. Let me go back. 12,800%. Now, um, give me a second real quick. Okay, here we go. That max size is 12,800%. That is the max size that this whole, whole entire canvas can go. Now, without lag or crash, let's test that. Again, let's test that since I haven't, haven't actually drawn anything on that size. So let's let's do that. So for example, I want to say I want to draw something, right? I go to the pen tool. Right here is the pen tool. I want to I want to do like I want to do a quick drawing, right? I want to do a uh, I want to do a quick uh, quick drawing. So let me just let me just do this. Again, it depends on how big you want to draw. If you draw like super big, again, when I zoom in, you're only going to you're only going to get so pixelated when you go in cuz this isn't Adobe Illustrator. So, let me back up. Right now, the canvas is blank. When I actually draw something really tiny, let me let me just do this. I'm actually just going to draw this look. It's a very little tiny thing right here. Let's zoom in and see if we can draw something without lag or crash. Because it's my first time, actually my first time doing this. So let's do this together. We're going to see together how, how, how this can go. I'm still zooming. I'm still zooming. Right now, right now, I am at two, I'm over 2,000%. This is starting to look blurry. This is not, um, this is not sharp because... As we zoom in, this is sketchable. This is not Adobe Illustrator. If you do Adobe Illustrator, you get vector-based lines. No matter how far you zoom in or zoom out, that line, again, will stay sharp. Not blurry, it will stay sharp. So I'm actually zooming in again and again and again until I can get to the max, max size. Again, we are over 12,800% right now. We are actually... Exactly at twelve thousand eight hundred percent. Look at this. Basically, this is what you get, and this is what you're gonna see from the pen, from the pen tool. The smallest size you can get with the pen tool, 
or the smallest thick line you can get, this is basically what you're seeing. You're seeing a bunch of blurriness. Right now, it's just a bunch of blurriness. So, let's see if we can actually draw with that. I'm going to zoom out again. I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to erase everything I did. We are going to zoom in again at 12,800%. So we are at the max. We are at the max size canvas. Let's take that same pen tool and draw something, see if we get any lag or crash. Again, this is very blurry. Again, this is very blurry because it's zoomed in at such an incredible, like, it's, it's zoomed in at a very, very, very big size. So, basically, you're not getting, like, very, very sharp lines. It's kind of like the, it's kind of like the airbrush tool, except it's not the airbrush tool. It just looks like that because you're zoomed in all the way in a canvas. So, again, this is what you're getting. Let me do that again. Let me, do that. Let me do that one more time for you guys. So you can, you can still, it's still doable. You can get like really good lines but it's blurry um the lag the lag is really not too bad again let me redo what I just did the lag isn't really that bad because actually honestly it probably has to do with um like the uh, the hardware of the uh, the computer like this computer actually has um this is a core i7 actually so again with higher specs of the computer a lot of lag and crash doesn't really happen too much because of that higher end specs of the uh, pc but again don't take my word for it this is just a, um the surface pro 6 or sketchable running on my computer so again i'm going to do this one more time Yeah, actually, to me, honestly, my personal opinion, it's actually very good. It still is doable. There is like, there is like no lag or crash. There's like no lag or crash with this. So, that is a very good thing. If you want to zoom in, if you want to zoom in on very detailed projects, then I would say, Alex, you are actually at a very good standing with zooming in all the way, trying to, you know, trying to, uh, do some very detailed artwork if you guys um, draw out there if you draw so there you go at this percent at 30 at like 130 percent you really don't have any lag and zoomed in all the way at 12,800 percent still very little to noticeable at all lag like very little lag right there which is good and the program is still working it's not crashing you can still minimize oops you can still Again, that, that wasn't the program crashing. That little blank wasn't the program crashing. It was just minimizing. You can minimize in and you can minimize out. So basically, it just has to refresh and get, get that uh, canvas back up. So if you do this, the canvas is still working. You can get all the way in. You can zoom all the way out. So, again, um, there you go. This max canvas size for sketchable on this program... 12,800%. There you go. We have confirmed this number. So, hope this helps. And again, I will have another video on one of the other questions one of the other YouTubers has. So, again, I'm going to finish um, I'm going to finish this video with this number and this is the number that you can zoom in all the way in on sketchable on the canvas size without lag or crash so there you go uh i'm going to back out 
and I'm going to end this tutorial on that note. I'll be back. Hold on just a minute. We're back. There you have it, people. And uh, again, Alex, I hope that helps. Um, again, I tried to sum it up as short as possible. I know I kind of was lengthy. I do apologize. I wanted to explain it best as possible I could. I hope that helps again. Um, so again, 12,800% is the max canvas size you can actually zoom in when you're in Sketchable. So um, again, it also has to do with uh, another big part of it has to do with like processing power of the computer you're on. Um, if you have a tablet, again, um, if you have a high-end tablet, uh, you're not going to notice any lag or crash or anything like that. Um, I mean, when I first, like, don't get me wrong, when I first, when I first ever tried the program, uh, maybe, maybe, like, once it crashed, but it was still very new. So, once it's, once it's been out for a while, like, again, new programs have, like, bugs and crashes or whatever, but this this program sketchable very good. I give it two thumbs up because it's it's reliable, it's useful, it's very helpful, and again, um, the the interface is very easy. Um, no lag or crash or anything. Uh, it's been out for a while. Anybody interested in getting that program, uh, comment so uh, comment in the section below. I actually have a link in the in the section below to that exact program. Again. Uh, stay tuned for another video I have coming up in the future, in the near future actually, uh, very soon. Again, I in the beginning of this video I addressed two questions. Um, in the beginning of the next video I, I'm going to have, I'm actually going to um, introduce one of the other YouTubers that um, has a question. Um, and uh, he commented on... I'm just going to say the comment right now. I'm not going to introduce his name now. I'm going to do it in the next video. So one of his questions is, I'm, so here's the question. I'm between Sketchable and Procreate. Can you save transparent files in Sketchable? I'm going to be honest. Transparent files. Let me look that up because I think I have an idea of what you mean. I might have an idea. But let me look that up real quick. I will actually have another video back with what those are and explaining how you can transfer those files. So excellent question and uh, I will be back with another video uh, very soon. So um, again, if you like this video, thank you very much for your support and care and your time and dedication into helping me with this channel and supporting me and watching all my content and all this stuff. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Love you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys have been watching my stuff for all this time. Thank you. Um, I'll be back real soon, real quick, or whatever. I'm pulling my hands over to me. Uh, Alright, this is Dan Art HD. Peace out.